Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jay. God bless everyone. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification, guys, for updates on my content, where you will see content mainly about nursing, lifestyle, and much more. If you like that, just smash that subscribe button and join us in our journey. Okay guys, so I'm back. So quickly, these are the books. So for fundamental of nursing, you might be using a book like this. I know a lot of schools use these books. Um, it's fundamental of nursing concepts and connections and skills. Um, it has Davis Edge um, access, which really helped me. This book is by F.A. Davis. And also you have a workbook, which I, in my school, we really used like both of these books. So like it has so much filled out. We did like every single chapter. <laughs> Then coming down to Med Surge, we also use the F.A. Davis brand with the Davis Edge. And it's this one here. It's Understanding Medical Surge Nursing. And we use this for every um, Med Surge one through four class. The same book, super, super great. And you see it had little stickers and everything. We also use the Understanding of Med Surge um, workbook. We did all of that and literally did every chapter, like ugh, ridiculous. A lot of homework. Then coming down to um, foundations of mental health. Here is the book we used. We used the foundation of mental health, the sixth edition, and this is by Elsevier. I'm not sure if you have heard of this, but this is what it looks like. Then coming down to health assessments for nursing. This is for basically like your lab. You'll be probably using a book like this. Um, this one was looking like this. Health assessments for nursing. And it was also by Elsevier. And I honestly found this book to be helpful, but not as helpful as you would think for a lab book. You would think like more pictures. This is just a lot of writing and not a lot of pictures. It's really hard for a teacher to like work off of this book. Okay, so then we have understanding of pharmacology. We also used um, Elsevier, and this is what is understanding pharmacology. And it was the second edition, and also the access to purchase this Davis drug guide for nurses. Um, this is the 16th edition. I really, really love this book. Ooh, we need to go find the body first. You need to find the body. And also they have um, an online version, which is really helpful. Like I barely use the book because it's, I don't know, for me, it's not too convenient. Like I'm very tech girl, like techie type of girl. So I would always just go online and Google it. And there would be like the F.A. Davis, like PDF. And I would just use those for my medication data sheets. So there's that book that you might be using. Then we have Introduction to Maternity and Pediatric Nursing. This is what that book looked like. It's another um, Elsevier book. Um, this is a seventh edition. And the author isn't Elsevier, but that I think it's the corporation, but the author, oh, I can't even speak to you. Okay, the authors are different. This one is Leifer. It's like um, potato. But yeah, this is what our book looked like. Fix it. Give me one second, please. Then we had another one that we used in Med Surge, which which was um, basic geriatrics nursing. Um, this one, we didn't really use it too much, only when our teacher started to um, talk about like geri care. And I think it was during third and fourth quarter is when we actually started using it. Um, but she would have like a discussion post and we would just start talking about geri care. But yeah, not too much, same thing. Um, the author is Williams and the the brand or whatever is Elsevier. Okay, and lastly but not short guys, this book wasn't required but our teacher really wanted us to purchase it so we can start getting ready for our end clicks and you probably have seen it already and if not, I'm going to show it to you guys and it's this one, bam! Everyone has seen this, <laughs> even if not then I don't know what you're doing. Um, this is the Saunders Comprehensive Review for the NCLEX PN Examination. Um, I myself, I like this because it's very like in-depth. It's very good. 
but I don't really do good with books like I'm a more computer person and books just are overwhelming um I like books once in a blue moon give me a second please um but just it's too big and um I really like you world or but this book is very good like I honestly sat down and looked at it a couple times I have it here on my desk because um I um so yeah guys so those are the books I was using during my program um basically I hope this video is helpful for you guys and I hope that you guys um you know if you're doing the LPN program if you're doing the RM program whatever nursing program you're doing I hope that these few videos that I have made for you guys um help you guys and that's it guys um I showed you guys the classes you might be taking for your LPN program I showed you guys the books you might be using for your LPN program and just be prepared do a lot of questions don't wait to the last minute to prep for your test no it's not silly and just be prepared as much as you can guys because your teacher will not hold your hand. Your teacher will not really care if you don't pass. Um, give me a second. Your teacher will be your advocate and she might help you, but she's not there to give you, you know, your passing grade. You have to earn that. So I really, really encourage you guys to study your material, to rewrite, to reread, to do anything you can that will help you throughout this journey get into groups some people don't like groups so just do your own thing and don't be afraid to do your own thing because you know just do you boo but that being said guys um basically that's it i'm gonna peace out again because i have to start being mommy again so bye guys take care god bless and i hope this video was helpful bye